Well, the most basic version I know of is, is Feynman's version, which uh, essentially says particles are particles and they hop from place to place with a particular probability. And the probability that a particle that's at some place will be at some different place later is given by a very simple rule. Um, it uses a quantity called the action, which is to do with the mass of the particle and the time and the distance. Uh, and, and you, So you basically calculate these little uh, quantities, which are to do with something called the action, and you add them up. So if I, if I start with an electron in one corner of the room, and I say, what's the probability at some time later it'll be somewhere else? Then at every point in the room, you can assign a probability that it will be there at a later point with one simple rule, and that's it. Now this is called the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics. That underlies everything else. You can you can get the rest from that. So it's a simple rule. It says what's the probability a particle will move from A to B? Quantum physics, also known as quantum mechanics, that deals with the behavior of particles at the smallest scale such as atoms, electrons and photons. It provides a mathematical framework to understand and describe the fundamental nature of matter and energy. At its core, quantum physics is based on a set of principles that are very different from classical physics. These principles include wave-particle duality. Quantum objects such as electrons or photons can exhibit both particle-like and wave-like properties. They can behave as discrete particles and also as waves with associated probabilities. Superposition Quantum systems can exist in multiple states simultaneously. For example, an electron can exit in a superposition of being in two different places at the same time. Uncertainty Principle There is a fundamental limit to the precision with which certain pairs of physical properties such as position and momentum can be known simultaneously. The more precisely one property is measured, the less precisely the other can be known. Quantum entanglement Two or more particles can become entangled, meaning that the state of one particle is dependent on the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomena has been experimentally observed and is now being explored for potential applications in quantum information science. Quantum physics is considered difficult for several reasons. Counterintuitive nature Quantum mechanics often challenges our everyday intuitions. It introduces concepts that are difficult to grasp based on our classical experiences. For example, the notion that a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously or that its properties are inherently probabilistic can be hard to reconcile with our classical understanding of the world. Mathematical Complexity Quantum physics relies heavily on complex mathematical formalism, including linear algebra and differential equations. The mathematics involved can be abstract and intricate making it challenging for many to comprehend and apply. Interpretational Debates The interpretation of quantum mechanics has been a topic of ongoing debate among physicists since its inception. Various interpretations such as the Copenhagen interpretation, many worlds interpretation or pilot wave theory offer different explanations for the underlying reality of quantum phenomena. The absence of a universally accepted interpretation can contribute to the perceived difficulty in understanding quantum physics. Despite its challenges, quantum physics has proven to be highly successful in describing and predicting the behavior of fundamental particles and has led to significant technological advancements such as the development of transistors, lasers, and atomic clocks. It continues to be an active area of research with promising applications in areas like quantum computing, cryptography and precision measurements.